Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna take a look at self-scheduling. I'm going to load up a template of essential coverage uh, that I've created, which is basically the minimum coverage needed um, in order to get a schedule established and to start uh, self-scheduling. So I'm gonna select that. And once published, uh, now all the employees that you see down below here that are qualified and eligible and available to work any of these shifts, uh, they on their phone will have received a message letting them know that a number of open shifts have been posted. And we can see a number of shifts um, are available for him to pick up. So we will start to select the ones that work best for him. And as this happens, within 24 to 48 hours, uh, all your employees will have the opportunity to select the shifts and cover the shifts and confirm the shifts uh, that they are able to work so that the coverage is confirmed and secured for this schedule that's been published. And then as we return to the schedule, uh, we can see that the shifts that Anthony had selected on his phone have now been assigned accordingly to the dates and time slots that he selected, along with a confirmation uh, indicator here that he has confirmed these shifts. And then as customer demand changes, uh, you can quickly and easily spin up additional shifts or remove shifts uh, from the open shift pool uh, as needed. So that in a nutshell is how self-scheduling works. Uh, self-scheduling is an effective way to schedule your employees when customer demand is uncertain or when you're able to plan well into the future. It gives managers the flexibility to determine needs based on demand and allows employees to select confirm and cover shifts themselves, giving them more control over their work schedule while allowing you as a manager to adjust needs up or down to the ebb and flow of your customer demand.